Number 1. You can use your Pip-Boy as a flashlight by holding Tab. The color of the flashlight will change based on your Pip-Boy color. Number 2. If you are in the crafting mode and you are missing some materials for whatever you are crafting, press T which will tag the missing materials so when you are out in the world, items that contain your material will be tagged with a magnifying glass icon. Number 3. Ammunition is pretty rare and expensive in the wasteland, so it's a good idea to keep a weapon of each ammunition type in your inventory so you have a lower chance of running out of ammo when you need them the most. Number 4. So some people think that waiting has been removed from Fallout. Well, it's still there. Now you just have to sit in a chair which will give you the opportunity to open up the wait menu by pressing T. Number 5. Lone Wanderer perk which gives you reduced damage taken and increased carrying capacity when you don't have a companion still works when you have your dog active. So that's a really nice tip to know. Number 6. Sleeping in your own bed will give you the well rested XP bonus. Number 7. You can hold down Q to enter vats without enemies. It's especially useful when you have the quest trail perk or to detect mines. Number 8. Go back to your house after leaving Vault 111. Look under the chest of drawers. There's a book called Your Special. It gives you an attribute point of your choice. So that's a really nice way to get an extra special point right off the bat. Number 9. Hold E in the crafting menu to pick up multiple attached items instead of one at a time. So for example, instead of picking up a structure piece by piece, you can pick up the whole thing by holding E, which is way way easier and it's gonna make your life way easier. Number 10. You can find a help menu if you press ESC. The menu contains literally everything you need to know about the game. The list of things that it contains is huge. Number 11. Legendary items are marked with a little star in your or the enemy inventory. Number 12. Don't waste steam packs on your companions. Eventually they heal up to full all by themselves. Number 13. Every place that has a glory orange light to it, like in a city for example, is a point of interest you can unlock. Number 14. You can assign settlers to do tasks by opening the crafting menu, press E on your settler and press E again on the task you want them to do, like harvesting for example. Number 15. Once your critical bar is full, which you can see in VATS, Press space while attacking, which will activate the critical attack. You have to be attacking in VATS for it to work. 